guys gonna have to let me know what's taking place in the comment section so something's brewing in guyana apparently uh over the last week or so some folks have been seeing this oily substance in their homes popping up on their floors that's what it looks like from the starbrook news they're not sure what's going on and now the epa is actually investigating this so i want to show you some other photos it says epa invites residents with oily sleep seepage in homes to make report and this is from uh Kaitro news so let's go down and see what they're saying and there's a lady showing of course uh, a korean resident points to a spot in her home where oily substance is seeping through the tiles Korean is basically in, uh, I think it's on the West Demerara side. I'm going to show a map of that just now. But this is what it looks like on her floor. She's pointing it out. And it says the Environmental Protection Agency has invited residents to report any occurrence of oily substance seeping into their homes. And this is another photo from Kaito News. A strange oily substance has been seeping through the kitchen floor of this family home in Crane. Right? When the public missive on Thursday issued in a response to Kaito News article, the agency denied that it downplayed any reports received by citizens in relation to oily substance seeping through their flows. So this is the first thing that sounds really crazy, where you're hearing that the EPA, which is the Environmental Protection Agency, they're basically the newspaper saying that they're downplaying any reports received by citizens in relation to the substance. So that's just raised the red flag immediately. The newspaper in an article, more West Dem residents complain of suspected oil seepage ex explosion of floor tiles, reported that the agency dismissed concerns raised by residents in Crane. A Crane West Coast Demar resident, Nadine Singh, in an interview with the publication, said that after noticing the strange substance coming through the floor tiles in her kitchen, she called the EPA who visited the following day. The team, however, related to her that the spots on her floor were due to dust and moisture. I came Tuesday and they came Wednesday. The EPA tell me that it is dust, moisture, and heat causing it. They said because we're cooking in the kitchen, it could have spots of grease and oil on the floor. They said that even the chemicals from the bottom of the rubber mats can cause the spots to appear, she said. The family is, however, concerned as the substance reappears after being cleaned daily. So this simply can't be just your dust and whatever substance comes off from cooking grease whatever it is because if it's reoccurring it just can't be that when you touch it it feels like oily greasy and it appears on top of the tile and between the crease at night and in the morning so if you're, you you're finished cleaning finish cooking for the day you clean up and in the morning you meet that day that simply can't be dust and oil anymore so that raises another red flag and remember in the first instance they were denying it on Thursday, EPA confirmed receiving reports from residents on West Coast Demara, noting that it immediately began to investigative teams for site inspections and to collect samples for testing when necessary. EPA said the agency is still actively continuing investigations and when completed, will notify all relevant parties. The agency will take any action necessary based on the findings from these investigations. The body therefore denied downplaying concerns raised in that regard what is really happening what is this oily substance going on there because if you clean at night and in the morning you're meeting it again it means that something else is pushing through that oily substance up and under your tiles and into your homes something is going on the question is governments never really tell us the truth no matter where we are so you have to keep pushing for answers on this but where is crane compared to where oil is being exploded in Guyana? And that's another thing because a number of residents would have contacted me and said, look, they believe due to the drilling offshore, um, the extraction, all that stuff, it could simply be that too, causing that. Look at look at where crane is. Crane is somewhere up here, I think on the West Bank, the Marara. So if you look at where all the oil exploration is, see, see the yellow oil deposits, See Exxon out here, see Shell, a whole lot of other companies doing stuff around. So that 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 could be something triggering there. Nobody knows. They're going to have to tell you as a resident, but keep pushing. Don't give up because if you do, <laughs> that's it.
But there's something else also going on in Guyana that persons are notifying me of about this issue of Guyana ramping up its monitoring for earthquakes. Guyana usually don't get earthquakes that often. I mean, if you look at where they are compared to what's been going on in terms of earthquakes in Guyana, you will see right here that a magnitude 4.4 earthquake occurred on August 3rd this year, just about like 11 weeks ago. And the strongest one since 2021, a magnitude 5.6 earthquake four years ago. So if you look at this history, you know that Guyana really is not shaken much by earthquakes. If you go back here, the latest one I said was on August 3rd. And then if you come all the way down, you see this is 21 years, 2021, three years ago, three years ago, three years ago, three years ago. So really, really not much, but with the oil seepage, and then they're telling me that, um, the government is ramping up its monitoring for earthquakes in an area called uh, South Rupanani. I think that's what it's pronounced as. I'm not sure you can let me know. So with a concern where they're saying that the government is now ramping up its earthquake monitoring in an area called South Rupanani, but we're going to have to check that out. Let's, let's go to that article and see, see what's the reason for that. Earthquake monitoring capacity improved in region nine. And you can see guys here dealing with the equipment, right? The civil defense commission in conjunction with the Guyana geology and mines commission, along with a number of other agencies, uh, executed upgrades to four, uh, located in South Rupinani, and they have been installed to detect earthquakes and other seismic activities in the area. Well, this is far away from where Korean residents are saying. So we don't want to say that it's connected, but people wondering why we're ramping up Guyana hard against earthquakes, but nothing is wrong with really monitoring. Each piece of equipment now has a reliable internet connection which will foster remote monitoring and data collection. The connection was provided by the NDMA. Furthermore, each seismograph was inspected for performance issues and maintained. As was necessary, residents of the community that experienced seismic activity in the past have lauded the upgrades to the devices and indicated that their dedication to safeguarding the equipment. So these are some of the equipment right here. Now better internet connection so the data can be transmitted as far as possible. So this is a good thing happening here. So don't want to link it with what's happening up there in Crane because I think it's really far away. But we'll keep definitely keep an eye on what's taking place. It's good to hear from you, and we will continue to monitor the situation, of course, and bring you updates as well on this channel. Remember to like, share, and subscribe to get notifications when we go live or when we post new videos.